Welcome to The Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hi, I'm Dr. Russell Knudsen. Welcome to The Hair Loss Show. I'm Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash. Good to be back. All right, so we talked about alopecia areata in one of our previous episodes, and uh, in today's episode, we want to talk about a new treatment option that's recently been FDA uh, approved and cleared, which is very exciting, and that's to do with this thing called a JAK inhibitor. All right. So basically, this is uh, a very exciting development. Uh, it's only happened this week in America. Um, it's not yet approved in Australia for this particular use. So we have a specific JAK, Janus kinase inhibitor, uh, which has been approved in a, the, by the Food and Drug Administration for treating severe alopecia areata. And by that I mean people with large areas or total areas of scalp. Um, and this is the first time we've been able to use a systemic therapy mm. uh, and approved therapy for it. The, the research was done about four years ago uh, in New York. Um, and this is a medicine that's been around for a few years. It's been approved since 2018 for rheumatoid arthritis, which is another autoimmune condition. So it's not a surprise that we can find um, that you it, might yeah. have a JAK inhibitor. Uh, there is a specific one that's been approved, um, baricitinib, but the, uh, the, the, we use the normal dose that we use in rheumatoid, which is four milligrams a day. And the research in the two different trials showed that if you treated patients with it over a 36 week period, uh, which is nine months, um, that the, uh, the definition of success was regrowing 80% of the hairs on the scalp. And in both the trials, for the people who are using four milligrams a day, uh, the success rate was in the middle 30s, so about a one in three chance. So certainly not a magic bullet yet that actually treats everybody. Uh, but it is exciting news. In Australia, uh, for people to use JAK inhibitors, it's not an approved use. It's only approved for rheumatoid, so it's quite expensive. It's about $1,200 right. uh, to get it, but it is available, um, yeah, authority only, uh, or private script. You probably would want to be doing this with a dermatologist if you are going to ask about it, but it is an exciting development for a very frustrating and, uh, and devastating uh, condition. Yeah, it is, and I think it's it's really good. But this the study. I mean, I'm interested to hear what your your thoughts. I thought it was it was done really well. It was the Brave One and Brave Two studies, and and they were looking at um, salt scores on how how they assess uh, you know the degree of hair loss. And uh, just to to re I mean, there's a salt the salt score goes from zero all the way through to to a hundred, with uh, zero being uh, full head of hair and uh, full hair in the area, and hundred being no hair. So people in the trial had to have a 50 score. They had to have a 50 or, or, or above. above. Yeah. Yeah. And so then that's they, severe. Yes. So they, they were looking for someone who had a severe amount of, of hair loss in that, in that area. And their end point was to have a SALT score of 20 or, or less. And like you said, in... in uh, you have to get 80% of your hairs back minimum yes. to qualify as a success in the trial. Yes. So. Again, I haven't analyzed the data to see how many people might have got to 70%. Yes, no, that's right. right. That, but, but because they didn't get qualified as success. But if you got 80% of your hair back uh, and you were, had a, um, a very high um, SALT score at the start, that certainly is a magnificent And there was a reasonable percentage, which was also very reassuring, that because they had a uh, look at the data again, that got 10 and, uh, a SALT score of 10 and less, which means right. almost full regrowth of hair in that area. And the other thing to think about too, and this will become clear over time, is um, this is the result at nine months. We don't know what the result yes. would be at 18 months. It might be better at 18 months than it is at 19 months once you've interfered. See, what the JAK inhibitors do is they interfere with the enzymes in the inflammatory pathway that's part of this autoimmune inflammatory condition. And so this is like rheumatoid arthritis. You, you, you try and block uh, the inflammatory pathways and uh, allow the body to reset itself and allow natural things to, uh, like hair growth, to recur. And, and one of the things that I like about you know, this, you don't want to be the first person using a brand new medication that no one's ever seen or heard of, is that because it's being used in rheumatoid arthritis, there's a reasonable amount of research into uh, what the drug 
does in terms of side effects. Yes. So we're not, you know, we know yes. the long term. And it's not, you know, I mean, it, we're talking about a serious condition, which yes. is the, the serious end of our lapisia at a scale. And certainly uh, JAK inhibitors have uh, potential for significant side effects. So the patients have to be reminded very carefully. They're not Panadol, for example. Yes. Right. Um, uh, they're, they're a bit more involved than that. So, again, it needs to be properly monitored and properly prescribed by somebody who knows what they're doing. And, and the, the other interesting part of this, this story was that they only, that was the only treatment that they were on. Yes. So we know that that was what the... That could, can be the only possible reason yes, that they Yes, improved. they weren't on steroids or having right. uh, steroid injections. It's a solo therapy. Correct. So very exciting news about JAK inhibitors and yes, we'll watch we, the space kind of scenario really, isn't it? It is because, um, you know, it's the first. I'm sure there'll be others and I'm, I think we might have just started on the pathway to finding more effective ways to treat this very devastating condition. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see how that progresses. Very good. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Take care.